My name's Amy Hamberlin, and uh, um, I'm going to do a demo about bag making, and it's, it's all in the details. Um, what do you think about when you hear the word homemade? What comes to mind? Homemade. Messy? Any nostalgic memories? I mean, the definition of homemade is that it's made in your home, right? And what comes to mind when you hear handmade? That's for you, by the way. Thank you for your answer. Handmade with a lot of effort. Handmade, yeah. It's kind of that next level. Handmade, homemade and handmade are kind of the same thing, but you know, it's the, it's the details, I think, when I think of handmade that really make that project the next level. And so when I start making a bag, I usually start with really basic, basic lines and basic and then, then I start to add my details. And one of the, one of the things that I have found um, for details in bag making is your top stitching. So top stitching adds, it adds texture, it adds stability, and it adds, you know, it, it, it just kind of finishes things off. You can see the top stitching in, in the handles and in all the, you know, and I really feel like that that kind of elevates your bag to the next level. And one trick that I have found for top stitching is generally you're going to top stitch about an eighth from the edge. And then sometimes you'll do a second top stitching a quarter an inch or you'll just do a quarter inch top stitching. So this is called a quarter inch foot. And you can use a quarter inch foot or a quarter inch walking foot. Either one will work. But I found like for my eighth of an inch top stitching, I will follow, I will butt my, um, edge, my folded edge, up to the inside of my quarter inch foot. Now you can always move your needle this way and that way, you know, with your machine, but usually I make my needle go as far as I can over to the left, so it's it, the furthest away you can get. And then I just, I like to hurry, I do. And certain things you have to take your time with, but I have kids and I have fabric to design and I have projects to make so this makes it easy because you just can fly you just use this edge to guide you and you just go and it, it's very quick and then you can do the same thing for your quarter inch top stitching you just line that up with the outside edge and you're going to be a quarter of an inch over and then the next one same thing but you're lining up your quarter inch with your court with your seam and then you can just go and it it really makes it really quick and really easy the other thing that I have found is a lot of times the inside of your bag is a little bit bigger than the outside of your bag. In the last year or two, I've started changing my patterns so that they are a little bit smaller. But even when they are a little smaller, sometimes they kind of, uh, what do you want to say, they, they kind of float. And so you can take a needle and a thread and try and just tack the bottoms down and you want to hide it in a seam if your thread matches really, really close to your fabric, and then you're just gonna hold it in place in certain little areas of your bag. And so your, 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 bat, you know, your lining and your outside of your bag, they're gonna stay more together. Um, and I try to do other things that keep them together as well when you're bag making. Um, the, other, the other really important thing about bag making is your stabilizers and your, um, I knew it was gonna, the word is gonna, interfacing. So you want to kind of stay on top of what interfacings and what stabilizers, you know, and of course, on the back of the pattern, you know, what was used in the project is going to be listed on the back of your pattern. But it's always kind of good to know a little bit of thing, a little bit about them. Um, soft and stable is really great. I don't know if any of you used it. You cannot live without soft and stable. It is just so fabulous. To my knowledge, they don't have a fusible soft and stable. But when you open it up in the package, it'll look like this, and you're like, oh my goodness, there's creases. So I hit it with an iron and some steam, and it just flattens it out. So you'll do that before you cut, then I lay my fabric on it. Sometimes the, the directions say to cut the both of them together, because if you're changing, you can do that. And then I'll hit it again so that it kind of adheres together a little bit, even though it's not fusible, hitting it with that steam kind of sticks the two together. And then you can do a little bit of a zigzag on the edge to keep them together, or you can quilt them. And I love to do, if, I, if I'm using soft and stable on the outside of a bag, I almost always quilt it. You know, and I just use, um, I don't know if I brought this pin, 
which I was Miss Jen here showed me it and I tell me the name of it the friction pin, the friction oh, pin. Yeah. it's yeah. fabulous I mean and you just hit it with some nice steam and it goes away and it's my very best friend especially for tracing on well anything I use it for everything um, on this bag I use the soft and stable on the inside of the bag to give this bag some nice stability the outside of the bag has fusible fleece this is a decor bond and you can feel um, this is double decor bond and you know sometimes when you're birthing a bag have you ever heard of birthing a bag you, you know you you get it all sewn together this one doesn't get done that way because you actually put the lining in and then you do your bias trim but if you're birthing a bag and you have the wrong side out right sides together and you have to get it all right sides out and then put the other side back in um, you get all crinkled your fabric and your stabilizers and you just need to hit it with an iron grab a towel or you know and and put the towel so you've got some uh, clearance between your hand and that steam and just really steam up that bag and it will take all the wrinkles out and make it look like it is a brand new fresh bag. Um, I did the same thing with this where I used my foot and I just sewed it. I have to do it this way so I know I'm telling you the right way. Um, where I just lined it right up and just zipped down it for the eighth of an inch and then the quarter of an inch and it really makes things slick really fast. Um, this is a new line of fabric with Henry Glass that is coming out. It ships next month. It's called Laugh Love Quilt and it comes with a panel. This is my very first panel and um, you could use this for a back of a quilt. It would be darling as an apron, a bag, you know, whatever. Pillows, really great for pillows, for you know, Christmas gifts. And then all the coordinating fabrics. Sarah's going to open this up for me and show you the whole entire line. Oh, there's so many. And what is the line called? Laugh Love Quilt. Is that the one you made that other guy got? Which other? Yes. Oh, that's the same line of fabric, yes. That's this bag too, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the two new patterns I have, this one's called Get Out of Town, and you can order that at any of the distributors right now. Um, all of them have a, and they'll be shipping the end of the month. They're printing as we speak. And then this one is Miss Sally, which is the apron that I am wearing, and also Sarah. And I use the same technique with the, with the top stitching. You don't have to just use this on bags. You know, I just went here and very quick. And also I know we're not doing bind, binding or bias trim, but on my bias trim, you know, I'll press it how I describe in here. but. I'll feel as I'm going and make sure that bottom edge is just a titch past the top and as long as you're feeling as you're going it just makes it for just you know such a great it just it just really is yeah yeah here let me have her go out and you can take a look And this is, yeah, this is in the line as well. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. You want that one? Okay. So Thank this you. is your panel? This is, yes. And then this also shows the different pieces in with the. It's printing so, like this, though. This but you was, don't have these patterns here. No. Can I take a picture of the cover? Sure. So that I can yes. Absolutely. It? Yes. Katie Cupcake. Mm -hmm. Nice. Because I do love this bag. You know, I have a bag that carries file folders that are legal size. Mm -hmm. And that looks like it would I think it would. Work. Yeah, I have my sweater in here. Let me pull it out so you can see. Um, Get out of town. This has a zipper pocket, but you can have the option of just in the pattern. If you skip the zipper option, you just mimic this pocket. So those that are a little scared of zippers don't have to do it. Very nice. And, I, and what was the stuff you used in here? I saw you. This is decor bond. Decor bond. And I, it, let me just read because I, I don't want to give you. Is this here? 
Uh, is yes, this, this is De Corbon. Yes, and so De Corbon is a Pellon, and it is 809, number 809, and it's on the pack. But you pack used a pattern. double in there. I did. Okay. These are two separate. I mean, I I always do them two separate, and then pieces. Okay. You know, and yeah, then right sides um, together, yeah, and so I that. Felt this. It felt really strong. Yeah, and then this nice. is a lighter weight, you know, because I didn't want that strong. Yeah, because then it would be too too tough. Yeah. This is cute too. So this is shoelaces, laces, but you can also use. Um, that's shoelaces. Yes, that I did shoelaces. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. But you can yeah. also use the Riley Blake cording as well, and that's really nice. Yes. But I love this because it has the nice finished edges, and there's so many funky, fun different shoelaces out yeah, there. Yeah, this one looks really so cute so, on there. Yeah. Oh, and you look at you've got this too, where you put this little thing. Oh, nice. Very that's cool. Nice Very nice detail. On Thank there. you. Thank you very Thanks much. Thank you. Um, where would you find the pattern at? The pattern you can pre-order at any distributor. They they will be shipping the end of the month. They are going through the pub printing process right now. Okay.